Alrighty, welcome back everyone. It is Laughing Games here. I'm back and it is time for another StarCraft II ProBots commentary. We have got ourselves what's going to be a ZVP, but more importantly a bot versus bot match. A bot that I've cast once before. In the top left, it's Sajik. Hopefully pronouncing that right. And in the bottom right, it's Apide. Apide? Apide? A Protoss bot that I've never commentated before, and new is always good in the world of StarCraft 2 bots, and oh my gosh. I don't, don't know what I expected, but I feel like it's been too long since I saw, saw a game like this with bots, so this is actually fantastic. It's gonna be a Cannon Rush bot probe blocking the natural base of Sajuk. It's just a dirty Cannon Rush. This is fantastic. And uh, yeah, ladies and gentlemen, leave a like on this video if uh, you enjoy Dirty Cannon Rushes. Let's go for five likes since there's currently five drones attacking this pylon. And if uh, you're new to the channel, subscribe. That one probe did go down, which is actually potentially a big blow to such a cannon rush. I'm not sure where this probe is going. There's a gateway on the way for Apidae now, so it went for a forge into a failed cannon rush. So I can only assume that... The gateway is some sort of follow-up to this, but the natural base of Sajik was delayed very greatly, which I think is a win against Zerg, right? Right, that, that was a decent delay. Uh, although, I mean, it's only a minute and 40 in. It is indeed a pool first. We should see that hatchery go up soon. Uh, but yeah, we'll see where this game's gonna go from here. The forge is definitely blocking the gas for Apidae, so I'm wondering if we're gonna see any gas be taken or not. Um, uh, Evidently so, I guess. This has this has got to delay the gas a little bit. Like I know that the probes can go around there, but that's got to be a slight delay to the uh, to the gas mining rate, I imagine. Anyway, now we've got a zealot on the way, an extra gateway on the way. No cybernetics core yet. Interestingly enough, from Apidae. lots of pylons going up though. More than needed, I think. But just getting ready, I guess. And then uh, we. Yeah, we'll have to wait and see if there's going to be a cyber core popping up soon. Zella goes into a good defensive position, which is nice to see. But yeah, we see those probes going all the way around to mine that gas. While this is going on, we see a hatchery in the main base go up from Sajek. So no expansion yet for either of these bots. Sajek's going to have the macro hatchery in the main base, which is just bizarre. Which I can only assume it did because of that weird pylon block. But you cleaned it up, buddy. You're good to go. Not that a bot can know that. Programmer's got a program in the most efficient way possible. And now we see a single zealot moving across the map for Apidae. A second zealot. Is that one still sitting in the wall? No, it left the wall. And we're going to see plus one on the way with this forge. So I guess that that's what that gas is for. Just <laughs> plus one slow zealots walking across the map. I, okay, let's go. Uh, I mean, plus one will definitely help those bad boys. But uh, the concern will be when roaches are out for Sajik. Zealots are just not gonna not gonna lump it against roaches without any charge or anything. There's still no Twilight Council. It's one base against one base. I really have no idea what bot's gonna win here. I think it's gonna be the Zerg though. If I had to if I had to take a guess, uh, just due to uh, just due to the fact that the Zerg is teching more. But then we see a Nexus and an extra go and an extra gateway go for Apidae, so I really have no idea where this game's gonna go. One zealot ran in and died. Another zealot's gonna run in and die. This one's actually trying to get away to its buddy. Buddy comes on in, takes the heat. I think he's gonna go down for his friend, which is very wholesome. Uh, random probe runs on in, scouting away, I suppose. Still no natural base for Apidae. Sajik, though, however, is going for that Roach Burrow place. So a one base Roach Burrow. A very delayed one base Roach Burrow, I believe. But, uh... Yeah, gonna be seeing that, and we'll have to see some detection from Apidae. There's a Twilight Council on the way now. There is gonna be plus one on those Zealots, but Burrowed Roaches with Bot Micro are very lethal. <laughs> In that one game I played against, I believe it was Iris, I saw how effective that can be. And so we'll see what these Zealots are gonna be able to uh, do. They'll have the plus one, which will help. There's a Stalker on the way. Stalkers are pretty decent against Roaches in lower numbers if microed correctly. That's the big, uh, that's the big asterisk there. We see yet another gateway going up. No detection yet. I imagine if Apidae's got this much advancement, there's got to be some sort of detection trigger. 
But then I've been wrong before in these bot games. It's still one base against one base. Roaches are spotted. Burrow, of course, hasn't been seen yet. We're even seeing sentries on the way for Apidae. Uh, whether there's going to be force fields or just guardian shields, I'm not sure. Training a bot how to do force field, I don't even know how you'd do that efficiently. I guess just get the center of the of the force you see and plop a force field down there. I don't know. I'm excited to see how that's going to work out. And yeah, it's just one base roach for Sajuk. Nothing more. Nothing more. While uh, Apidae is on two bases, so we'll have the superior income. Now, whether that's going to be enough to overcome just this swarm of roaches that's going to cross the map, I'm not sure. Protoss usually does need, like, batteries or cannons or immortals to deal with mass roach. The sentries could potentially do something, but then there's burrow to go under those. Lots of stalkers are on the way. Warp gate is going to be finishing up. So uh, those gateways will soon be able to start warping in stalkers a little quicker. There's only one pylon at the natural, and it's placed quite a ways away, so that's not really going to... Help, uh, help with the Sim City. There, creep is spreading across the map. It, this, this is very suspenseful. Just a one base Zerg now getting Glial Reconstitution. So maxing out off a of one base. Uh, oh boy, Sajuk. Uh, the longer this goes on for Apidae, though, the absolute, it's absolutely much better. We even see an hallucinated immortal there for Apidae. So I guess maybe trying to trick the Zerg bot. This seems to be the spot to keep all the units hanging out. But. Uh, yeah, the longer this goes on, it's going to be better and better for the Protoss bot as long as there's some form of detection at some point. As long as it knows to throw up like a robo when the Zerg attacks. That's the most important thing. Now, there's no charge either. There's going to be plus one armor on the way, interestingly enough. Uh, the economy for Apidae is quite significant here. More and more units can be warped on, and the supply gap is narrowing as time goes on. The attack, however, is now going to be moving out. Those roaches don't have speed quite just yet, but it's still a lot of these big boys. 31 roaches against 7 zealots, 15 stalkers, and 2 sentries. I don't think that looks too hot for the Protoss bot. Now in comes the Zerg bot. There's Guardian Shield been popped. No force fields going down. Zealots are getting face time, but there we see those roaches burrowing. Stalkers can try and micro against us, but... Oh, there's one force field going down, and it looks like one or two of the roaches will die here. The stalkers can pull back against us. A robo is being attempted, but it's right on the front lines. That's not where you want that, Apidae. You need to build that in the main base. There we go. It is actually doing that. That's great to see. It's going to be a while till this is out, and the question is how many of these stalkers are going to die before that is being produced. More stalkers are being warped in, and just with the speed that roaches regen health, it's like this army is not taking any losses, so I think that this should be a victory here for Sajuk. Like, uh, Apidae can try, but if there if there was an Observer, it might have been a different story. The Stalker Micro from Apidae is pretty advanced. It's good to see, but as these Roaches close the gap and get on top of these Stalkers, they're gonna go down. We need to see an Observer Chrono boosted out as soon as that's done. These Stalkers trying to make it up the ramp. Maybe Apidae can hold, as I mean, it is still one base against one, although the second is now on the way for Sajuk. Uh, yeah, a lot of stalkers going down. The army supply just plummeting. It's only six roaches have died. The burrow has just been fantastic here. Is there going to be a force field on the ramp? No force field. The roaches are up in the main and observers on the way. But I think it's going to be a little bit too late here for the Protoss bot. It was a good first showing from Apidae. But uh, I think Sajuk has got this one, without a doubt. Now that that observer's out, it's, it's a little too late. Seeing as how there's, what, three, four stalkers out? I mean, they can micro as well as they want, but uh, look, even even the behavior from Apidae, the attack and then retreat with the Stalkers, is good until you need to kill a unit that burrowed after it was shot. Uh, yeah, ladies and gentlemen, hit the like button if you enjoyed this one. A bit of a shorter game, a lot of build-up, but this is, uh, this is what's going on every day, every minute, every hour on the bot StarCraft II ladder, and this was one of the games, so I'll try and cast Apidae again in another match and see how well it does. I, it would have been interesting to see the cannon rush if the probe wasn't killed, but all in all, a bot with a decent amount of depth. And uh, yeah, these roaches just gonna clean everything on up. Hit that like button if you enjoyed this replay cast. Join the Discord, which is linked down below, so you can send me any bot games you wanna cast. Working on getting another Afrika World tournament going, if you're a fan of those. Uh, consider becoming a YouTube member. That's the best way to support this niche content. And, uh, yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Thanks so much for uh, tuning on in. I was gonna 
in the video here, but taking a while for this pylon to be found. One stalker hanging out. Oh boy. Oh, stalker's dead. <laughs> how long how long till it gets found? Okay, I'm just gonna lock onto these roaches. <laughs> 